My good people, we are finally COVID free and ready to play. And what better way to break that duck than a sesh at the London Craft Beer Festival. The number one date in your beer calendar. And I've got to admit, I've not even peeked what I've recorded. So this is going to be as big a surprise for you as it is for me. I hope all of you went down there had a great old time, because I sure as hell know we did. But let's see just how good a time we really had. It is some 11 o'clock in the morning, the sun is beaming down, and there is one hell of a queue behind us. Craft Beer Festival 222, here we go. Thank you, my friend. Oops, sorry, mate. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. So, being number one, we go USA with a little thin man. That is good. So we got a real softness, a real creaminess, and a real peppery note to this bad boy too. With a sweet but very subtle bitterness in that finish. Real good stuff. And while we're in the USA, we might as well stay there with a grim sour. Pretty damn sour, some beautiful black cherry on that. It is real sour, real sweet, and real refreshing. Perfect for a day like this. And we've got some real red currant, real red winey vibes coming out of this too. We are going London Beer Alliance now with a little distortion, a double dry hop IPA. We got a little of that double dry hop bite, but it's got a real smooth and creaminess to it too. With a, again, another soft bitter to finish. Right, I'm going as best. And what a stop! Gotta be Azbex. They are the best. Bring out the best IPAs right the fuck right now. With a couple halves of Jump Mat and the Surf Mat. And we go from one raise the ball winner to another with a little Baron right here, baby. Yeah, boy. I forgot it what it was! Pina Colada! Neapolitan, baby! Baby! The next stop on the list, Mr. Jitterland Temple! For a little, I hear a very sexy apricot IPA! Somewhere in the glass. Spoken by the man himself, so we shall see. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. 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 It is literally summer in a can, daylight today. 
So it's been a little while, I've been trying to find these guys in bowl shops and cans, but fuck it, come to a festival and drink them. The guys at Moonwig! It is super tropical, it's got a subtle bitterness, it's a little sweet and a little grassy too. Okay, go again baby, go again! <laughs> We got lost, but we finally found the magic that is Glass House with a little a little black currant Julie. So we said we wouldn't do it, but we did a little beak, little beak, beak and barrel, beak and barrel. But we've now taken over because he's gone home. So we are now creepy. We are so <laughs> We might be in trouble. People may be in trouble. So that was a little snippet of our afternoon at the London Craft Beer Festival and the very first Hopper Gander Roadshow. Yes, content might have been just a little on the bare side, but that is definitely the first of what should be many outdoor frolics. So keep your eyes tuned on the channel for a few more crazy days out.